So this is just a test video that myself and Brad are creating in advance of our Digital Accessibility Essentials for Educators webinar. And what I'm doing here, we recorded a quick little video and I'm going to show you how to edit that video and add your own closed captions. So uh, right now I want to get rid of some extra bits of video that I don't need in here. Hide that little notification. So I'm going to actually cut some of this video out that I don't need. All the first bits we don't need anymore right now. And I'm going to zoom in here so that I don't accidentally cut off some of my dead space. Okay. Okay, I do have an extra little bit of dead, a uh, little bit of noise there I want to get rid of. And I want to get this to the end of my quick demonstration. ...to their own students. All right, so this is, I want to cut from here to the end, get rid of that. So now I've got the bit of video that I want to save. Now what I'm going to uh, do... So I'm going to go into the working with image. Don't want to don't want to play that there. What I'm going to do now, Brad, is uh, add the closed captions. You'll see over here on the uh, right side of my screen there's a captions button, so I can add them to the recording. I'll just click the plus sign on that. Now I can add them from a file if they already exist, uh, but I'm going to use the speech to text engine here and click on the start button, and it's going to generate this from what I said. So it takes a few moments to do that. And this is not a long video, so it shouldn't be too much in here to uh, to monkey around with. So, so is there a way to review that text? There is. You'll see it over here under the captions text right now. So what I want to do is actually go through this and test it out, uh, check it, and make sure that there's no typos in here, because sometimes there will be. And all right, so that's fixed. This is just a sample that we can work through and then show that uh, video for a few seconds afterwards. Yeah. So yeah, I've no. got uh, my text here. I'm not going to bother editing all of this right now. It doesn't look like there's any uh, any uh, major typos in here, and I don't see anything that's uh, not suitable for the workplace. Sometimes it does uh, do some mistranslations of your speech in there. But I've got my captions text here now, and it's going to automatically add this to the video for me. So that's perfect. I can now... Uh, import a text file or I can export this one. I want to export it, export it. And I'm going to do this um, in two different ways. One, I'm going to export this as a text file. And I am going to uh, find a place to save this. So I'll go to my presentations folder. So this is um, sample transcript. And I'll save that. It'll give me a text file of that transcript uh, of what I had just recorded. This is very useful because I can post this transcript. I can format it as a Word document or a PDF. You can see that it's here. Uh, and I can put this into the course. I can put it as part of the web page underneath the video when I embed it in my course. And I'll have a transcript there for my students. So I have something nice that I can send along for them. I'm also going to export this as a captions file and i'll show and so you so what's how. the captions file i'll show you how i'm going to use that now in just a moment uh this is going to be um i'll call this my youtube captions so i'm going to save that uh, there it is now saved i'm going to go into youtube i've got my youtube channel open here now and I'm going to upload a video in just a moment. First, I'm going to save this. That's okay. It's done. My captions are now in here. 
I'm going to give this one a name. This will be our um, our adding closed captions demonstration. Okay, and I'm going to save that as a video file. So I will put that just under my videos folder here. And higher quality, publish that. Done, so I can open up that folder so I've got it handy. I'm going to go to you, my YouTube channel here now. Click on the upload video button and find the video that I want to upload. So just drag and drop that in. A short demonstration of how to add closed captions and to create a transcript using Screencast-O-Matic. Uh, I'm going to pick a playlist to add this to, so I'll add this to my digital accessibility playlist. And I'm going to click on the show more here now, so I can add tags to this. So I've got a few captions, a few uh, tags on there. Video language I'm going to specify is English. Caption certification. Uh, so do, 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 it's never aired on television in the U.S. Yeah, that's true. I'm not going to add any of that. I'm going to upload my own subtitles right here. You'll see that there's a link. If you don't do this, what's going to happen is YouTube will automatically caption your video. And as you saw in my demonstration using Screencast-O-Matic, when you do that, sometimes there are typos. YouTube is notorious for having typos, especially if you speak a little bit fast or you speak with an accent. Uh, it, it may have typos in there, and that may confuse your students. It might cause uh, some issues with understanding. You might get some NSFW stuff popping up there that you don't want your students to see. So I always like to create my own. I'm going to click Upload here. And I'm going to continue. And it's going to ask me to find my file that I had just created. So that is under Presentations, Webinar, uh, YouTube Captions SRT. There we go. And Category is Education. Yes. Everything in here is good. I go through Next. Next, it's going to check for copyright, no issues found. Visibility, I can now publish this. I'm going to mark this one as unlisted for the time being. I've got my link here that uh, I can save for later on, so I'm going to save that link. Publish that. And if we go and check this video out, we will now see that uh, the video is on here. I see the closed captions button. If I turn this on, you can see the captions show up. So I can turn it on and off, and it's the captions file that I uploaded. Always a good idea to add those captions for your students. Some people like to watch your videos with the sound off. Others may have uh, hearing issues, so the captions will let them uh, fully appreciate the content of your videos.